Africa is the only continent in which Global Insurance Underwriter Alliance says consistent growth returns averaging 10% were recorded over the past decade. This was part of the briefing on the continent's insurance markets discussed by the top management team of Alliance Africa at the 2017 Africa CEO Forum held in Geneva, Switzerland. Highlighting where the large insurance markets are on the continent, the risks and the emerging segments is Alliance for Africa's Chief Operating Officer Delphin Medu and the Regional Chief Executive Officer Conrad Vrolit. Some of the challenges that Africa faces, uh, we are investing and in here for the long run. Mm -hmm. um, talent development is key for us, um, especially on, on the African continent. Mm -hmm. So um, I will give you an overall picture um, of our investments in Africa and our activities in the past uh, 18 months, which, if you've noticed, have also gotten us nominated for the International Company of the Year mm -hmm. at the CEO Forum. Um, so fingers crossed for us tonight. Mm -hmm. So globally, uh, we are one of the largest insurance companies in the world, uh, turnover 122 billion euros, mm -hmm. um, operating profit of 10.8 uh, billion euros. We focus on three main segments. So it's PNC, property and casualty insurance, it's asset management, and it's life and health. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've been in business for 120, 27 years. In Africa, uh, we've been present on the African continent for over 100 years now. Um, in 16 countries, 1,500 employees, 600 million euros in revenue. Uh, no other international insurance company has uh, offices in so many African countries. So then that also um, reaffirms our, our um, uh, investments on the continent. In the past um, few years, we've accelerated our plans in Kenya, in Ghana, uh, and also uh, recently acquired uh, Zurich uh, business operation in Morocco. So, and one of the reasons why we always come to the Africa CEO from uh, some of the challenges that uh, Africa faces is low insurance penetration. Um, we are consistent with the rest of the emerging markets at 3%, but um, if you take South Africa, uh, with 80% roughly of the insurance uh, market in Africa at 14% insurance penetration. If you take South Africa out of it, the insurance penetration in Africa is hovering around 1%. As far as our strategic alignment in Africa, um, we believe in growing the insurance industry here in Africa. Um, and the African Development Bank, who's hosting this conference, has five priorities for the continent that we're quite aligned with. One is light up and power up Africa, uh, feed Africa, industrialize Africa, and integrate Africa. And the last one is improve the quality of life of the African people. So as we look at the fast growing uh, population urbanization, uh, the more uh, people are also educated, the better they understand risks and are also uh, willing to purchase insurance. So that's where we come into the picture. So we invested in the long run, as we said, we've acquired Zurich and Morocco, and then after that, uh, we created a regional um, uh, hub in, in Casablanca to focus on uh, building our operations across the African continent. Our Alliance Africa story is we have a portfolio of markets here that we will accompany over the next 25 years to here. This is not a three-year play, it's a, it's a generation game. Mm -hmm. And so you get two sources of growth. One source of growth is the growth rate of the economy. Pick your number, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven percent. You saw some of the numbers presented in the plenary today um, with sort of that range across Africa. Okay, Nigeria last year was minus a bit, uh, up to plus seven or eight, I think, for Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have that increasing penetration, so going from 1% of GDP to 7% over the next year. It's difficult to say exactly what that period will be, you know, um, 10 years, 25 years, 50 years. It depends a bit on the countries. Uh, and we have looked heavily, can you influence the rate of that growth? Mm -hmm. uh, some of it is driven by regulations mandatory insurance covers, some of it's driven by a private health care system, so requiring private health insurance. Uh, some, of it's be, some of it's purely cultural. Some, in some cultures, there is a sort of implicit family type of arrangement for insurance, self-insurance. In others, it's more free-for-all. Um, so, you know, it's very difficult to predict where any individual 
I wish I, I've tried it. We, we've tried those studies. I, I wish I had that, uh, that, that secret.